Well, Channel 3 is your back to school authority. Two weeks from today, Bloomfield students return to school for the new school year. Now, of course, there has been a lot of planning happening throughout the summer. So here to tell us all about that is Bloomfield Public School Superintendent Dr. James Thompson. Hi, Dr. James. How are you today? Good morning. I'm doing well, thank you. Well, great. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate it. We know you've had, I'm sure, a busy summer, maybe a little stressful. Um, why don't you talk about what will this year look like that was maybe different from last year? Yes. Well, this year, all of our students are expected to return in person. Uh, unlike last year, when we had a hybrid situation, we had some students receiving instruction virtually remote and others were in person. So that is a, a big change. Uh, we're doing everything possible to ensure that the return is as close to normal as possible. Having said that, there are a number of uh, primary protocols that I would like to share that we have in place. First and foremost, we are encouraging uh, our parents to do a wellness check in the morning before their child or children um, uh, start out for school. And that wellness check is really a check to see if there are uh, symptoms such as runny nose, fever, um, loss of smell, those classic COVID uh, symptoms, COVID-19 symptoms. The second primary protocol is all staff and students are required to wear a mask. Uh, our third uh, protocol would be social distances, uh, a minimum of three feet apart. And our fourth one I think is very important is that is all of our facilities have been, uh, they're, 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 all of the facilities have been checked for circulation uh, and also the service to ensure that the circulation system is, uh, is, 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 is up, up to where it should be ventilation up to be where it should be. So obviously a lot of protocols in place. What about, is there any option or any plans maybe in the works in the future for remote learning in case we get to that point? Well, right now, uh, remote learning um, will be only offered in two rare situations. If a student has been quarantined and if a student has a uh, high risk or is in a high risk category. And that has to be substantiated by the family's uh, doctor. So those are very rare situations where uh, remote or virtual learning will be uh, authorized or provided. Now, how is the school handling the governor's new mandate that teachers be fully vaccinated or tested once a week? Well, this is something new that was uh, announced yesterday at the governor's press conference. And uh, fortunately, over 75% of our staff, they have been vaccinated. So we have some work to do relative to uh, those who have not been vaccinated. So that's something that we will be working in collaboration with the uh, governor's office, uh, also the Bloomfield West Hartford Public Health Department to ensure that uh, that uh, that mandate is adhered to. Mm -hmm. Now, I know a lot of districts, school districts across Connecticut are seeing staff shortages. What's the situation like in Bloomfield? Are you seeing any of that? Currently, um, all of our positions have been filled. So uh, we are very fortunate that we will be opening our school year uh, with all positions being filled. Having said that, there's still weeks, two weeks to go. And, uh, and haven't been in this business a long time, there's always uh, an opportunity for surprises. But right now, as we speak, all of our uh, certified positions have been filled. Well, hopefully there will be no surprises um, and, and that's the case and everything will go smoothly. Do you have any message to maybe the kids heading back to school? Well, we had summer school this year. We had a very comprehensive summer school in person. Um, and the attendance was very impressive. And uh, the students as well as the staff were very excited 
to be back in person. So we look forward to our students returning uh, this fall in person. How about parents? I know, you know, this has really been a tough time, really for everybody. Parents are nervous maybe to send their kids back to school. What's your advice for them? Well, we, have, we, we communicate with parents on an ongoing basis and to share as much information as possible. So I think the key here is ongoing uh, communication and we have our Bloomfield Public Schools safe return to in-person instruction and continuity of services plan. It is posted on our website. Uh, it's a plan that our principals and school leaders will be sharing uh, with, the, uh, with the families. Uh, so any questions or concerns that they may have relative to returning their, their children will be addressed. And I'll leave it up to you. Lastly, anything you want to talk about, maybe I didn't ask you today. Um, I think we talked about the key things that I was hoping that I would have an opportunity to share. And that is really our key protocols and that we're all very excited uh, about our students returning to school in person uh, this fall. Well, thank you so much, Dr. James Thompson, uh, superintendent of Bloomfield Public Schools. I really hope you have a great school year. Uh, good luck to you, and thank you for all you do and all your teachers as well. It is a tough job. Many parents will agree with that after the year we've had. So, uh, again, good luck to you. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right. Have a good day.